Welcome everybody, this is Bones, we are doing a, a third, as promised, a FMV game. Uh, this one is a little dear to my heart here because I have played all the others in this series. Uh, this one is called Tesla Effect. Um, now Tex Murphy, back in the day, was one of the big FMV games that went around. There were cutscenes in these, and they were full motion video, which is FMV, that's what it stands for. Um, this one was, if I remember right, kickstarted and got a giant fan response because people missed Tex Murphy. Uh, the last game ended on a cliffhanger that went on for 16 years. So this one starts right after that cliffhanger. So let's just uh, get into it, shall we? Um, um, what is our name going to be here? We are going to be Bones Murphy. So, see what I did there, guys? Alright, so, let's, uh, let's play. Where um, am I? Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. Then you're the, the big P.I. in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. <laughs> But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. Uh, Tex Murphy is a little on the inept side. Um... When it comes down to, uh, charm. Um, Tesla. This directly ties into Nikolai Tesla, my personal favorite inventor. Um, somebody I'm a little uh, obsessed with, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just, if ever there was a real mad scientist, it was Nikolai Tesla, so. I, I just find the man like astoundingly prolific to read about. Just amazing. There, of course, is the evil Edison who stole so much from Tesla that it's not even funny. Um, but look at the production value, guys, on this right off the bat. Um, Todd Bridges, if you do not know, uh, was an 80s actor who is back for this one. Um, and I believe the same actor has been. Tex Murphy do this entire thing, and no joke. Uh, and they're actually working on another one now. Um, I don't want to say what the name of it is. I know the name of it. Um, and Kevin Murphy you may know from Mystery Science Theater fame. My name's Tex Murphy. I'm a small-time private investigator in the big city of New San Francisco. My office isn't in the glamour districts. It's in the run-down, mutant part of the city, close to Coit Tower. A place they've been refurbishing for years, but it never seems to improve. Not exactly great for business, but it holds a strange attraction for me. I've cracked some pretty big cases over the years. You may even have heard of me. But I don't do much investigating anymore. These days, I'm known for being a man who gets things done, no matter what the cost. You got a job that pays? I'll do it. No questions asked. I can't really remember why I became a P.I. Maybe I was drawn to the romance, adventure, and independence it offered. Or maybe because I believed in its code of honor. That a man can remain untarnished as others sink into a cesspool of lies, corruption, and greed. A man better than the world around him. There he is, and yes, Aaron Connors are guys. Uh, make sure you check out that novel. Um, because this is based on his work. He wrote the novel Tesla Effect, which you can pick up at his website. They had the link, they actually had like the website there. Um, I will also post it in the description. 
under the games like website. Um, but do make sure you check that out. It's actually a Tex Murphy fan who I've been but talking even to a lot. a set of people. principles can slowly slip from your grasp. The world has a way of beating you into submission. Mm -hmm. Circumstances change. The guilty aren't always punished. Temptations become obsessions, and love can be violently taken, leaving it empty and hollow. Each day, innocence fades, and your character weakens. And that's not all at once, but a piece at a time until you can't be put back together again. You finally realize the only way to get ahead in this world is to make sure you're on the winning side, and then do anything you can to stay alive. I don't know why I'm so reflective tonight. Maybe I finally crossed the Rubicon, but that's not true either. I passed that sign miles back and didn't even pause to take a picture. Maybe I just feel extra guilty tonight for what I'm about to do. Foreshadowing. Um, now obviously the quality of this one is by far superior. There's a time when I would have never agreed to do something this despicable. I can't explain why I do this, but maybe Judas would understand. However, to me, this is by far the most uh, excellent out of all of his adventures. I feel like this one captures all of the essence of Tex Murphy into one game. All the humor, because there's a lot of humor. if you all can't hear this better. Um, it's a sad trade-off of doing Let's Plays. I'll tell you this, it's a nasty concussion there. Mystery Science Theater, boys. Finally! What was all that commotion outside, anyway? Wowza! You really got a hit on the head. Remember me? Your old pal, Huck? Seriously, you look clueless. Uh, who or what are you? Geez, how hard did you hit your head? Well, let me reintroduce myself. I'm your smart Alex, your personal assistant, version 1.5, fashioned three years ago in a factory with truly horrible working conditions. <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm your trusty tech-savvy sidekick, whose primary functions include travel agent, inventory tracking and analysis, investigative advice, case notes, and I'm also a confidant and a best buddy, you gigantic oaf. Remember? Not really. Would you like a tutorial on my usage? Um, we're going to skip the tutorial video because I'm a hands-on person. So I like to play around with things on my own and tinker. Uh, plus, uh, I, I played some of this ages ago. You have a fax. So, as you can see here, this puts us in first person. Now, uh, earlier Tex Murphy adventures were like side view. Uh, An article on the Russian white movement. Am I truly so bored? I'm reading Russian history. Ah, uh, the big Finnish detective by your Aaron Colmers. Finns make the best detectives. See, there's a nod right there to the uh, to the author there. Glue is always useful. Glue is always useful, guys. Remember that. Glue is always useful. It's one of my business cards, but it looks different. When did I change these? Um. <laughs> this looks interesting. Probably a book on how to map out fun spots to visit inside your brain. That would be fun. Ah, uh, the Colonel. 
He was my first real mentor in the PI business, and here he is giving me a helpful tip. Flashback? Flashback. Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a PI. And never, ever betray your friends. Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. You gotta find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them. I always get the chill of fear down my spine whenever I think of him. Like any good boss. Um, one thing that I do like about this Tex Murphy, actually. PI rules are for sissies. I've been able to achieve a certain level of success, ignoring all the rules of my business. Uh, is that he's he he's got a uh, yeah. See, there's my inventory. Uh, he's got a certain um, sass to him. A certain uh, on Saturday nights, I push the furniture to the walls and cut loose on the dance floor. I don't even know what to call it. Uh, these games kind of mix like a, a silliness with a genuine I a book. I bet this sells for pennies on eBay. Pennies, I tell you, pennies. You have a fax. You have oh a fax. man, that's an older game right there. Um, I wonder if they'll do late. This happened on my first case. Yeah. I was in the shootout of my life at the warehouse district. See how young you look there, guys? We get... <laughs> that is straight from the game, if I remember. Um, but this is what I mean, you know? That's how you moved them then. So, uh... You can see I how much they while I was recovering. Changed. I swore I was always going to use my brains before bronze. Um, what I like about Tex is that he is not infallible. He is a guy who is uh a Maltese Falcon. I don't remember picking up this little souvenir. How long was I knocked out? Sorry if I'm looking around a little more than I should. Well, it's another Mike and I Cammer Candy comic, Key Lime Largo. I'll put this in my comic book rack. Um, I do remember this. You can eat those comic books. My friend Louie runs the Brew and Stew, and this is his personal brand of coffee. I gotta say, it packs a wallop. Let's look at the facts. Yeah, no detective worth his salt would be without a fax machine. So they mix, like, the 1950s in with the future in the Tex Murphy games, and I always liked that. It made it a, a, a little interesting, I think. Gave it a sort of, like... Detecto Noir feel. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. Apparently he's out of town doing some research. When he returns, I'll need to ask him about the case we're working on. That's not right. Oh yeah, I forgot that such an right. Uh, mm. No messages on the vid phone. There's a vid phone. Looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. Somebody hit him in the head. Damn, this record's broken in two. <laughs> it's my Gene Autry fake book. Whenever I'm feeling low, I can sing the songs of my hero. Oh, man. My Richie Haven signature guitar signature disappeared. That'll teach me to get an autograph with a dry erase marker. Yeah, don't do that, guys. One of my golf partners. Old Bogey, we call him. One of his golf partners is Humphrey Bogart, in case you didn't catch that joke, guys. Um, all right, I think I... Oh man, this record's broken in two. Huh? It's a bottle of stupid glue. Yeah, you see what he did there? Bottle of stupid glue, guys. Um. All right. Okay. So we combine stuff like this. I'm, I'm experiencing a sensation altogether new to me, and frankly, I love it. Well, I definitely remember my Gene Autry record. It's my one stability in this crazy world. So yes, you have flying cars, but also records. Ah, my old trusty Victrola still seems the same. Plays my 78s. And what one wouldn't play 78s? I close my eyes and dream of one. The one I... I close my eyes and I close my eyes. If I remember right, what on earth is this amount of cash doing in my office? If someone was trying to hire me to do something, probably wasn't legal. Yeah. 
I better put this away until I know exactly why it's here. Always hide your illegal money, folks. Wait, what did, why did I say that? An article on the Russian white movement? All right, Am all I right. truly so, so bored I'm reading Russian history? Am I looking at... Can I do spy work over here? Can I peek at stuff? From here, I get a great view of Chandler Avenue, the original Boulevard of Broken Dreams. I think it looks like a hamburger. On a, a slightly unrelated note, I'm actually... My indispensable water cooler still doesn't have paper cups. <laughs> well, I sure don't remember how these holes got in the wall. They look fairly recent, judging from the debris. Mm. Who would have done this? And why? So, uh, yeah, we're doing that here. So, it wasn't a horrible dream. There are gun shell casings and a shot-out window above the electronic shop. I know I'm involved, but how? I should investigate the area and then find out if anybody else heard the commotion. Um, now you also notice, uh, unlike most of my playthroughs on this one, Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened I to Chelsea. I believe we have somebody watching us play this. So, somebody's actually watching the playthrough. So, not only are you all watching it's an empty vial. me play this, but somebody's watching the playthrough of me playing this. How's that for meta? Where's he shooting from? Look, look, look! The top window! It's the Wardenclyffe Tower. The Nikola Tesla invention. Motor oil, the secret ingredient to Louis' Armageddon blend. Louis usually up at this time. I should ask him if he heard anything. Well, it looks like the dumpster escaped unscathed. I'm no detective, but you need to find a way to get up to the second floor of the electronics shop. You know, like a ladder. Your trusty assistant is forever a smartass. And another Mike and Ike hammer. Candy cane confidential. Uh, it's a Mike and Ike Hammer candy comic, Citizen Candy Cane. Citizen These candy dumpsters cane. have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice to know I'll have a place to go if I can't make rent. Ah, looks like Louie at the Bruin Stew is preparing to open up shop. You should go talk to him. Maybe he heard something. Uh, it's a Mike and Ike Hammer candy comic, The Sweet and Sour Lady. I'll put this in my comic book rack back at the office. Now, I think he automatically puts these on the comic rack, if I remember. Um, first things first here, electronic shop. Electronics shop is closed. It's gonna be one of those, is it? There's a Ritz Hotel I'm at. We got the Rook and Pawn. We got the three cards to Midnight. Uh, we got Rust Rusty's Fun Mask, Knights of the Templar. Uh, so, I'm going to play this fast and loose and just see how this goes. Sad to say, many robots and cyborgs end up down here. They get hooked on old Chihuahua motor oil, and they stumble <laughs> down here looking for a fix until their lives. Look at, there really is a little Chihuahua on the friggin' thing, too. Sad to say, many robots and cyborgs uh, end up down here. I'm sorry that I looked at that joke twice, guys, but... It's always nice uh, to know. I just thought that Behind Rook's funny. pawn shop is a dirty, ugly alcove that reminds me a lot of Rook himself. Now, I've told you all before, but I will say it again. Anything you can grab in an adventure game, grab. Even if you don't think it's useful. Yeah, you... the city of old San Francisco picks up the trash once a year. I think we're getting close to our date. Even if you think it is a uh, a waste of time, grab it anyway, because you never know. Uh, the gate's locked, but when Rook gets to work, he'll unlock it. So I'll check okay, back later. Okay, so we'll check back later, Shady. We're gonna talk like this now, because I'm gonna try and emulate Tex Murphy and do a horrible job. Um, no, actually, I am really excited. This door's that, just uh, painted on. <laughs> that's right. Uh, you can tell it's been some time. Like I said, I, I had played this previously, but I have never done a Let's Play of it. I promised you guys three FMVs, uh, so we have three FMVs, and that's how we're doing this. Um, oh, I remember the day I came back to my office to that grisly sight. Oh, God, yeah. 
Now, I played every other Tex Murphy game. I tried actually. for an oh. hour to get Pug's head out of the walk cooler, but it was no dice. The police showed up and thought about grilling me until they realized Pug was a mutant, and it was like they couldn't care less. I guess people are a little apprehensive about taking that bottle back for deposit. Now, I believe this is where we start off. I'm here to see my pal Louie, but I see a pretty brunette at the counter. I have the feeling she recognizes me, but I have no idea who she is. But I personally love that, uh... Well, hello, stranger. This... Totally feels like a dream. That has got to be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Just for that, I'm gonna get you some coffee. Now these here are three different choices. Um, I think this one is... This one is the middle ground. This one I think is more aggressive. This one is nicer. I get it. I know how you like it. Like your women. Full of liquor. <laughs> That's a no detective joke there. Whoa. A little early for that. Really? The way you hold your liquor, I just assumed you always got an early start. Try this one. Actually, I could use some pain killing you know, up around this general area. Is that blood? Ow. Oh, hush. Ow. You're not picking fights again. Uh, maybe we should introduce ourselves. You do, huh? In the mood for a little role playing? Who do you think you are? Mr. Tall, blonde. Now, this actress I've seen in other things. And look, everybody, Space Cat is making an appearance. Uh, you seem to know who I am. Who are you? I'm Taylor, and I'll be your nurse. I recommend two aspirin and lots and lots of Maybe all afternoon long. Uh, I have to investigate these gunshots, but maybe if I were to do it really quick. Um, I have to go into work today, unfortunately. But maybe after work tomorrow. Ah, oh, geez, I'm late. I got a new extension at work. I'll send it to your smart Alex. Please. Go see Dr. Donnie here at the North Hill Clinic. Call me after and tell me what she says about that noggin of yours. See you, Uncle Louie. I uh, see you, Taylor. Uh, Mr. Mighty, what are you doing here? Mr. Murphy, come on, Louie. What happened to Moy? Is this something I can do for you? Because if not, you got stuff to do in the back. Why are you acting mad at me? You know why. You drunk again? I told you. You ain't allowed in here. You've been drinking. Well, I don't feel drunk. Just, my brain's a little foggy. What happened to your head? I don't know. I woke up on the fire escape. I go into my apartment and everything is different. The street, Chelsea's newsstand, you, everything is completely different. I mean, I don't know whether I'm tripping here or having a bad dream or something. What's the last thing you remember uh, before you woke up? Uh, I don't know. Something with Chelsea. Chelsea? What day do you think it is? No, hold on. What year do you think it is? Uh, what year? 
Are you serious? It's 2043. Oh, jeez. Look at that calendar. Over there? On the fridge? 2050. What the hell's going on here? Last night, Chelsea and I went to the Golden Pagoda. I think the wording was uh, very, very true. Yeah, there was a cliffhanger ending here. Oh, Just... no! What? It's me. Look, somebody has stolen our car. I mean, here I am. My speeder's stolen out of here. I'm sitting on a great... God, help! Ah! Oi! Uh, would you guys like a lift to the cop shop? No, we'll walk. He's really just trying to do us a favor. Chelsea, I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. It's like some sort of deja vu. <laughs> And yeah, this was the last game. Oh, that's Tex. For the one now. He's having a very bad day. That true, Tex? Oh, no. Everything's just going peach. Well, things could get worse, huh? He shot me. He, he shot both of us. He shot me. There's nothing. Why is there anything? That's what I'm trying to tell you, Mike. It wasn't last night. It was seven years ago. What the hell is that? Looks like you got injected with something. Maybe that's what's messing with your head. Maybe it's that goose egg. Either way, buddy, you gotta see a doctor. What about Chelsea? Where is she? I mean, is she okay? You said to never say nothing about her never again louis i don't know what kind of bastard i turned into over these last seven years but this is me tex you've got to tell me where chelsea is louis please tell me that night you and chelsea just disappeared you showed up a few weeks later. You, you couldn't remember nothing then, neither. But Chelsea... She never showed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those gunshots we heard have to be connected to me. I'd better get out there and investigate before the cops get here. Life, you really need to see a doctor. You can't drive in this condition. I'll call a cab. I'll have them wait till you're ready to go. Okay, all right. Now this here is stuff that I can talk to a little more, if I remember, uh, about here. Uh, yeah, I don't got a ladder. You might want to check at the Golden Gate Hotel. They've been doing a bunch of renovations. I like that they did this here. Nice. Yeah, nice to have some fresh blood here on Chandler Avenue. Not really the kind of place I do a lot of shopping at, but uh, some folks seem to like it fine. I forget. You don't remember nothing about Taylor. She works for the Bay City Mirror, does a lot of investigations, and she's a real peach. Sweet, smart, funny. Yeah, I wasn't too happy that you and her were spending time together. But maybe she was seeing through all that tough guy stuff. She's good that way. I can't go to the North Hill Clinic. Not now. I need to investigate the crime scene to find out what happened before the police arrive. All right. Well, you did give me a tip off on the hotel. So what do you say, guys? Let's go to the hotel and see if we can find any renovations. The problem with vidphones is you can't call anyone from the bathroom anymore. Well, you shouldn't. Mac Malden. That buffoon always got credit for cases I solved. 
I like how nonchalant he is about it. Not like, oh, I should kick the this guy. The bell was on the front room. desk. I could ring it and talk to the clerk. I'm Tex friggin' Murphy. I don't need no bell. I'm just gonna bust on in. Sapphire. Domineering escort. You've been a bad boy. Well, this is a flashy new neighbor. <laughs> Sapphire, eh? That sounds like a fun new neighbor. Uh, da, 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 da. So Tex is, uh... Apparently set to meet all sorts of fun people in this one. Yeah, needs a key. People who stay here at the Ritz don't want to be found. People who stay here at the Ritz don't want to be found. That looks uh -oh. important. That doesn't look good. No, it does not. Yeah, needs a key. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Oh, I had this door permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. Mm, nothing much happening out here. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go... I can't really do much with these two rooms, which I feel like I would have liked it if they at least had like a little thing I could have, you know, clicked on. Get something. Door. Like, guys, like, door. So, so far, leads are this. Uh, this is our checklist, I think. I find a letter. How to get... Oh, right, 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 right. Alright. I don't want any guide. So I can go to the Toto or Ritz's office, the, or, or Texas office or the Ritz Hotel. Was Some around. pretty intense staring contests have been held right here. It's best not to sit on these couches, but if you do, you better be wearing a hazmat suit. Lord, I've known a few clubs that could attest to that sort of thing. Uh, can I duck or anything now? Okay. Alright, so... Aside from that, I need to find a way to get a ladder and get up to that thing that is paramount. My hey. hammer, murder my sweet. I'm loving the play on the old uh, detective names too here. The old detective stories. closed. Yeah, this building's been a lemon for anyone who's tried to open a business here. Which is ironic, because if I remember right, that's where you try to open a business. Okay, so uh, I think I'm in at the place where I need him, yes. Uh, I think there is a ladder around here somewhere, if I remember, but I'm not horribly optimistic. Like I said, it has been quite a long time since I have played this, so you guys will really have to forgive me. I am uh, not joking when I say that I'm going to go. I am really am going to candy fly. comic. Uh, the roll. person watching this is probably screaming things at the screen, like, no, do this, you idiot, but, uh, sorry, buddy. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. <laughs> that is a... <laughs> shouldn't laugh at that joke. Uh, lead paint, if you do not know, and I hope to God you all do, 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 do. Horribly dangerous health hazard, so that is a like health hazard joke about the building not being up to code. Um Yeah. I never forget one time, and this is true actually, uh a hotel that I had stayed at, uh the the this became a high room smelled a weird and I room remember the radiation talking to the front the desk clerk and mentioned something uh, about the paint and they looked down nervous and uh, I asked them flat out uh, what does this building have lead paint joking you know just goofing around uh, and uh, the guy looked around and then just nodded and didn't say anything else and I promptly checked out 
uh, was like, yeah, screw that. I don't, uh, I don't feel like throwing another set of limbs today, so... Well, thank you, sir. Uh, now... My boy here, that is watching, is probably like, what is going on? What are you doing? What I'm doing is looking all around. Because I really genuinely do not need a lot. shit. But when Rook gets to work, uh, I'm I, like, I'll I, I later. genuinely don't. Well, Can I just take this? Not a Banksy. Damn ladder. That's a that's a good pop culture reference there, by the way, guys. If you don't know who Banksy is, um, these dumpsters have housed various individuals. I think if I years, myself had one nice thing that I would like to be to able to do for my video game, like the whole pocket inventory thing. You know what I mean, like. Unlimited carrying of things would be a great idea. That Lead pipes are that's a weapon. drawn to my skull like moths to the flame. We have found a weapon. That actually has a pretty good right hook. I'll give him credit there. <laughs> that would kill a normal human being. Y'all do realize that. Um, the human skull cannot take that much damage. It is thick, but the problem with the human skull is... Lead the, pipes are always magically I know I don't want to see this like twice. To the flame. Let's exit that. You can actually just get that just toward it. Um, the... That's an empty vial. The interesting part about all this, uh, frankly... A nice graffiti art. No, we're not doing any clues. I don't want to get cheap on this. Um, some of you already know what I'm supposed to be doing, I know. And again, guys, I apologize. Uh, we've had... <sighs> a very hectic week. Let's Plays are not always the easiest thing to do, and I know you guys are probably... Like, Every few oh, years, let's... someone gets the bright idea that this place should be preserved. Repairs are done for a few months, then the workers disappear when City Hall realizes what type of people really inhabit this place. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War II when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. Now, I don't think any of this is needed right now, but I really, I wish I could have picked that up, that, uh, that crowbar. Maybe I could have, maybe I gotta hold something down, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should have done the friggin' thing. Um, My nose has started sagging lately. Makes oh, it hard to dude. breathe. Now, what kind of info are you looking for? Huh? It's some very weird characters in early Tex Murphy's. Uh, if you haven't gone back and played some of the early ones, please do so. Um, the graphics may not be up to par, but you're in for a treat character wise and humor wise. If you don't own this one, and you like the FMVs you've seen this week, get this game. There is no reason why you shouldn't. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the humor is great. Um, the acting is better than most FMVs I've seen in my lifetime. And believe me, as somebody who uh, grew up in the golden era of FMV gaming, I've seen a lot of them. Um, God, I'm missing something obvious right now, and it's really annoying me. And it's probably annoying you all, too. And there are other places I can go like this. I do not believe uh, I want to waste my time anywhere else than where I need to go right now. And I want to say there are places that... I'm pretty sure every one of your cases involves the Snow White Warehouse somehow. Lama Lama, Red Pajama. You, you all knew that was coming, right? It's like I mean, a come on, card man. reader. Come on, the club. Mi nombre is Tex. My name is Tex. He says. Well, there you go. If he's ever put out in the doghouse, I don't. See, I'm doing Tex jokes now. Um, but no, I mean genuinely, this. Uh, was a very enjoyable purchase. Uh, I, I 
I'm actually enjoying playing it again. Um, although I'm walking around like a drunken toddler. So let's move my ass. I forgot I could actually sprint. That would have been useful now, wouldn't it? Um, the pawn shop is closed. Um, and this is what we know so far. I suck at these kinds of things. It's a flashlight. Uh -huh. Maybe I need this flashlight. It's pretty badass of a flashlight, actually. I need to get up there. I need to get up there by use of a ladder. I do not own a ladder. I need to get a ladder. Step one. So we are going to sift through all the trash, all the other stuff that I can to get a ladder. Um, I'm waiting to see if our little friend is going to write us and give us a tip. Uh, by the way, if ever I'm doing a Let's Play and you guys decide you want to watch live the game Abandon playing all portion, hope, ye who enter this lot. Uh, I never have a problem with that, guys. Just, you know, give me a heads up. Uh, this guy kind of surprised me a little, but I, I don't mind, you know. Um, if you're on my friends list on Steam, then obviously we're alright, where I don't really mind. Uh, and it's very unobtrusive, thank god. I, I'm glad Steam did that the way they did it. Uh, no, what did I do? That time. The hombre is text. So why am I back in here for a minute? To think about what I'm missing. Because it's something obvious. I close my eyes and dream of one. I sure don't remember how these holes the got in the wall. They look fairly recent, judging from the... Sometimes, I wish I had a talking gumball machine as my wacky sidekick. And if you're not aware, that should tell you who... Kevin Murphy voices out of the robot's uh, Mystery Sensor 2000. I believe he uh, is the gumball robot whose name eludes me right now, which is insane because I used to watch every single episode of Mystery Science Theater 2000. Um, we still like to watch the shorts they do on YouTube, and uh, we watched the revival of them, which was pretty cool, More actually. Messages on the vid phone. Um, I recommend that too if you guys have not seen that in your Netflix. Watch the new series. Uh, it's, it stands up uh, pretty well. Um, and I believe you can take this to places where you have got to go. So I can either go to the Ritz Hotel, the Golden Gate Hotel, or go into the Golden Gate Hotel. Wow. This place really has been renovated. I guess that dumbbell Ardo must have come into some money. But as I walked to the counter, that's right. I suspect this place is this is how dumb I am. I've been looking at the Ritz Hotel. I was supposed to come in here. So do forgive me, guys. I need to pay more attention. This is what happens when you uh, don't have lunch before you do your Let's Plays. Welcome. Welcome to the Golden Gate Hotel. How can I help you? Mr. Murphy? That is badass. Wow. Service around here has gotten a lot better and a lot smarter. Context. No, thank you. The last <laughs> time I tried that, you were all... I'm a professional. You'd be treated as such. <laughs> Some sort of just morning like that. Management heard about it and I didn't get any time off for a month. And that was supposed to be me? How do you know so much about me anyway? Unlike you tangibles, we have computer brains. So, you got a name? <laughs> you know very well who I am. Holly Graham. Cute, right? But tangibles just can't resist a pun. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, that it's pretty funny. So, I think your sign has a typo. It says... Holograms are people too. 
So you can read. It's for the hologram rights movement. I hate to tell you this, but holograms aren't people. I have known because I've dated a few. That's exactly what they used to say about minorities, women, and mutants. It's our turn now. I'm officially on strike. Well, more battery power to you. Really? You're the last person I thought I'd hear that from. Everyone in this neighborhood's afraid of you, you know. The hell has he done? Uh, I think you may have the wrong, Mr. Murphy. A little Q&A might clear that up. Sure. Though I should warn you, I don't get much. And that lady's been in, like, real movies right there. I heard gunshots, and then the speeder came flying out and took off. Well, it's no Golden Gate Hotel, is it? And the points here at the end uh, determine how well we keep everything like that right. over at the Snow White Warehouse. I think he came in one time with Mojo, the kid from the barbecue place. It was awkward. I like how she does a little smile. Taylor's my bestie, my real friend. I don't know what she's doing with you. Ouch. I've heard they keep a key or something to get inside the warehouse by the door. It's probably the most useful information this game is doing. The nicest part. tangible I've ever met. She's gonna say something horrible about me. But now that I know you support the hologram rights movement, I may have to reevaluate my opinion of you. Sweet. Well, let's not. Uh, let's not. I should look around the hotel lobby and see if there's anything here that could help me out. Hopefully, ballroom renovations include installing an actual ball pit. How much fun would that be, guys? I totally go to ballrooms nice and say I ball pits. Nature. Shoot. Okay. Oh, Space Cat's down. Space Cat is down. Repeat. When visiting Salt Lake, be sure to visit. Oh. It's a key to a lockbox. So when visiting beautiful Salt Lake, be sure to visit. Oh, it's oh, it's for San Francisco. <laughs> uh, some of his subtle's a little, or blah, blah. Some of his humor is a little subtle, but uh, it's definitely 100% Tex Murphy. Um, again, if you guys are not super familiar with Tex Murphy, I would say if you don't think you can get into the old ones, this is a great place to start, and then work backwards, but uh, please don't, you know, don't not play them. Give them a good chance, because they're, uh, they're all pretty damn fun, honestly. Um, oh god. Now this is Chandler Avenue here. So obviously, we want to get over here. I really should have asked that one guy there, uh, my buddy, my homie. It's locked, and I need to find a way to open it. Well, that's why we have this. That thing. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what it's you're thinking It's locked, and I need to find a way to open it. Yeah, needs a key. Well, I have a key. Motherfucker. This keypad needs a four-digit code. All right. It's locked, and I need to find a way to yeah, open yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's uh, let's let's come back to that. Um, I wonder if our friend Holly Graham can clear that out for us. So far, she's actually been quite a big help. Hey Tex, how's your case progressing? It's so weird to see this lady in this, because honestly she... Oh, you know me. Just a hologram. Here to serve my tangible oppressors. Oh, that sass, though. So sassy. So sassy. Alright, well. We are gonna walk down Main Street a little. 
see if we can't figure out what in the hell I'm doing. We're gonna go back to Louie, because I forgot to ask Louie about the gunshot thing, and I don't know why, but that's super friggin' important. Hey, what can I do for you, Mife? We don't get too much of that stuff around here anymore. Cops have been good about cleaning things up. I got no idea who would have been doing the shooting or getting taken. That Holly is a real spitfire. I don't know how I feel about the whole holograms of people too thing, but yeah, why not? I like how he's like, give it a shot. Yeah, the warehouse hasn't changed much the past few years. Maybe do you know anything else that can help me, sir? Uh, Clint's done a real nice job, don't you think? Good to see the neighborhood getting fixed up. I really should have asked him all this shit right up there. It sure is good to have the old mice back. I don't want to get all mushy, but... I missed you, Mike. I, I like that Archie fella. Real friendly. Don't always understand what he's talking about, but hey, different strokes but different folks, right? Very true. You know, I love Chelsea like she was my own daughter. I, I still miss her. Even after all this time. No, oh, me? I'm just the same as always. Just a little less of me than I used to be. Aren't we all? I wish I could tell you everything you can't remember. But I don't know much. You and Chelsea went missing and then you showed up out of nowhere a few weeks later. A couple of days after, you was gone again. I only saw you a few times after that. A couple of years went by and then you came back and something bad had happened to you. I don't know what, but it made you hard and mean and you just got worse. You got to where I didn't even want you around anymore. Now I feel a little better. We, we have fully talked to these people more and more and more. Inspector Burns finally opened his own barbecue joint. I bet it tastes just like arson in your mouth. Well, that sounds delicious. This photo was taken from the top floor of the electronics shop. Who's over there spying on me? Oh, and the hell did I miss that? Take a little Whoa. look, shall we? It's a picture of me at my office. Someone's been spying on me from the top floor of the electronics shop. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower, a Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was working on. So that there is something... Uh, I think someone was getting abducted. I will second that opinion. Now the big question. How in the world do we find out the combination to the thing of Revive? Um, you know, I feel like I'm gonna be doing this game a little injustice if I don't at least consider using all the options, so maybe I should go with the hint to oh, progress this a little because this is a long let's play let's be honest uh, and some of this other stuff so we'll do this here uh, no. um, this is what we're gonna do um, in the golden gate hotel lobby find an examiner still at the house lock box key ba -ba 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 -ba. Let us know what we're going to store with the rock to reveal the access note. So there's a rock, and there's the access note. Here? It's like instructions to get into the Snow White warehouse. That is the only time we're using that, guys. 
four two six eight. Murph is back, bitches. Sweet. Wow, is this still here? I used this to deal with a cunning criminal on my yes. under killing moon case who had a bad case of bozophobia. Flashback? There we go. And now these are great reasons why you all should explore some of these. <laughs> this dude's face, man. Some of those past games. As you can tell, they're a little cheesy. They're a little goofy. But uh, they're a lot of fun. I heard he had my name tattooed on his knuckles, and he wants to show me firsthand when he gets out of prison. I'm not really looking forward to that. Um. <laughs> sorry. I forgot about that one. Uh. That one is a, that is actually funnier. Looks like an interesting read. Tex Murphy novel. Um, you're also gonna find some weird things here. I'm not gonna lie to y'all about uh, Texas double life. So make sure that you guys keep an eye. I have a ladder. I can get into the second floor of the electronic shop. All of this stuff is relevant and important. Um, the one thing, like I said before, about FMVs is they very rarely have red herrings. Um, that's something you would see more with, say, like, I think one of the King's Quest had a few items you didn't need. There were a few other ones that were like that. Like someone shot out the window on the second floor. But, the uh, I don't recall many FMBs that have that because they, they're they a lot harder to do this stuff with. Um, you know, the video itself and the compression rate and all that took up the majority of what you were looking at back then. That's a damn shame. This guy was working diligently to get a free sub at Inspector Burns Barbecue. Prohibition era person, clearly. Camp down races, baby. Now this, I want to say, it's a puzzle if I remember, but I don't remember the puzzle. Purple, yellow. Okay. Yellow, orange, red, yellow, purple. Uh, yellow. Oh God, which red? Red. Yellow. Yellow, orange, red. I hit that red. Yellow. Purple. Yeah! Orange, blue, orange. There's a lot of oranges here. Oh my god. We'll come back to this. 
I'm not done with it. There is something I need from that room, though, that I remember, and that's how you get it, is unlocking it with that. And I may not have a choice. I may actually, this, this may be what I have to do. And it is. Well, anyways, guys, we're going to stop it here. Um, giving you all a glimpse into the world of Tex Murphy. Good luck with this puzzle. Uh, I am Bones. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you guys so much for enjoying Tex Murphy with me. If you like this game, the link is down below, as will be the link to the author's uh, website where you can get the novel version of this actual Tex Murphy uh, story. I have been Bones. Make sure to subscribe, give us a like, comment down below. Thank you guys. Have a great day.